I come before you today There's just one thing that I want to say Thank you, Lord For all you've given to me For all the blessings that I cannot see Thank you Teach us to live out that prayer yes. as you taught your disciples when we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our delivery. 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Remain standing and let's sing, Crown Him with Many Crowns.
I just wanted to point that out, even though my team is not in it and lost. Uh, I, I, I'm willing to humble myself because I want to image God to you and show you how, yes, you can consider the needs of others before your own. And because it's not football. And because it's not football. Exactly. Right. Anybody have a, a testimony they'd like to share? God done anything wonderful in your life. Go ahead. I asked y'all to pray a couple weeks ago for me um, as I was having some tests done, and looks like the growths are benign. So thank you for your Woo. prayer. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. And that's what I mean. If you've asked prayer for someone or yourself in the past, and God has answered that prayer, or God is saying, wait, I'm taking care of the need, whatever it may be, we'd love to hear from you. Yes, sir, Joey. My grandma is still recovering, but she's home. Amen. Amen. Glad to hear that. And uh, this morning, we realized that Joey was not on the official membership list. He came up on stage. I asked him if he would support the United Methodist Church with his prayers, special gifts, and service. He entrusted Jesus Christ as his personal Savior. He said, I do. And I said, well, welcome to Myrtle Grove uh, Methodist Church. We're glad to have you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and thank you for your work in the sound booth. I don't shuck appreciate it. Yes. Tina. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I asked for prayers when I had my uh, trip to Myrtle Grove very significant heart problem. I don't have the, um, the one of the uh, monitor that I had to wear for two weeks, it's still too early, but my other test, the echo, and the nuclear strength test came back okay. Oh, by the grace of God, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling like me. Hey, Amen. She has some <laughs> stress tests and things done to check the old ticker, yep. and they came back good, and so she's doing wonderful. <laughs> and that, and my heart continues to beat in rhythm, Amen. and I feel it better and better every day. Praise God. Any other praise? Yes, Travis. I just have to praise that every week. I pray that it will fill the pews and see new faces in church, and every week when I come, we see new faces and new opportunities to bring them closer to God. Amen to that. How many? Did you hear that? No. Pray. If you said want to just praise the Lord and, and uh, just praying that the... Yes. Uh, there would be more folks in the pews and, and praying that more and more would come to, to know Christ. I think that's basically what you said, right? How many would agree with that prayer? Amen. Amen. I'm so glad you agree. <laughs> How do you think that's going to happen? That means the folks sitting in the pew have to be busy about the work of making disciples and being disciples for Jesus Christ. I became a Christian because there was a gentleman in my community, you know his name, Mr. Tom, who stopped by my house for over 10 years and just worried the snot out of me. <laughs> and it worked. And so keep asking, invite someone. To come. Any other great uh, testimonies? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, I got I'm blessed this weekend to be able to finally experience three generations of fish of me being able to go fishing with three generations of my family. Three generations of fish. <laughs> like, you know, it, to me, it's like something I haven't ever had before up until this last couple of years and now I've been blessed with a family that has gotten bigger and bigger by every minute and my grand great grandson got to play. Great grandson, this is not one of them. He he's, he, he's just thanking God for his family. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Church, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, any others? Get prayer request, I have a few. One of our youth, uh, Junior, had asked for prayer for the family of his aunt during the, there was a tornado and uh, uh, his aunt passed away during that storm. Karen uh, Demerness, did I get that right? Yes. Uh, she had passed because of the storm. If you would pray for the Demerness family. Uh, 
I got a telephone call this morning from the young lady that lives with my mom, the daughter of Tina Ayers, Tammy. And Tammy went to the emergency room this morning and she has a UTI and other things. Uh, she already had some health problems and this adds to that. I may have to keep her in the hospital overnight, but if you would uh, be in prayer uh, for Tammy. Uh, also, uh, uh, be in prayer for Mike Yancey, uh, the uh, brother uh, and brother-in-law of Jim and Michelle uh, Reynolds, uh, as he goes, continues his cancer treatment. Uh, Bob and Marianne Fuller, if you would continue to lift them up in prayer. Uh, Marianne's having a very difficult time trying to find a place that would keep Bob. And uh, Bob has a full-blown uh, uh, what dementia it, it is, in other words, it, it's bad. And so if you would keep him in your prayers. R.C. Miller is really having a hard and difficult time. We need to remember uh, that family, Teresa, lost her stepmom uh, a week, over a week ago. If you would continue to pray for the Miller family. And this morning, I would also ask prayer for Isaac, uh, uh, mine and Angie's youngest. Uh, Isaac is, uh, he, he has been interviewing for over a month or so for an associate, uh, assistant pastor position in a new church here in Pensacola called City Church. Anybody ever heard of it? Uh, City Church. Which one? City Church. City Church. C-I-T-Y. City Church. City Church. And I may have that wrong. <laughs> it is. It's on Tyler Fox and Face. Uh, and one of the elders of that church is Dr. Joe Dunn. Uh, he's my doctor. Many of your doctors had a test done for the kidney. And I took one of those cardboard uh, tests for cancer. Right. And put that part of it. So now i got to have a colonoscopy. Colonoscopy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know you're going to have fun with that. Uh, we'll, we'll be in prayer. Those are serious issues, certainly. Uh, one other thing. Yes, ma'am, go ahead. My son, Adam. Praying for Adam. Yes, we'll lift him up in prayer. Yes, ma'am. Uh, a week from Monday, Carl gets to go have the same procedure you had. He's going to have an ablation. He's going to have an ablation. I had one. He'll come through with flying colors. <laughs> yes, it's really good. Yes, ma'am. Uh, my grandson, Gideon. Grandson, Gideon. He needs a kidney transplant. Okay, in the back of the hospital needs a kidney transplant. Yeah. We'll lift him up over. And we're blessed that you are a God who hears our prayers. You're a God that meets our need. And Lord, through the grace and mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, you have reconciled us to a holy God you have blessed us with the Holy Spirit and you have redeemed our life with great purpose. What a blessing it is, Lord, to be a part of the, uh, of the members of the body of Christ, to be brothers and sisters together, to hear praise reports, to listen to prayer needs. And Lord, we have many from people who are having problems with UTIs and kidney transplant, concerned about colonoscopies or heart conditions. Uh, Father, you know all the needs this morning, and we're confident, Lord, that you're going to bring healing into their lives. Lord, continue to bless us as a people of God. Help us, Lord, as a congregation and as a uh, administrative board and disaffiliation team, Lord, to complete the work that is before us, realizing, Lord, that the outcome of our future is not in our hands. It's never been. It is in yours. So, Lord, we trust in you. And we pray, God, that you would continue to lead and guide us Amen. in our work. For we ask in Christ's name. 
Amen. Gentlemen, come and let us receive of God's tithe in our home. Father, again, we give you thanks. We give you praise for the blessings that we have received. For this, your church. For this, Lord, your gifts and your tithe. Because all that we have is because you have first given yes, to us. Lord. Lord, as we return, may we continue to, may you continue to bless the offering and help us as a church family, to be good stewards of all that you put in our trust, so that the kingdom of God may come on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Amen.
church as we sing Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me. 